Gamer DT back with another video. And today, this video I made for you guys, it's on soccer. And more importantly, how to how to get more accuracy in passing. Because you see these pros, they're like passing like they're gods because they are and they're insanely good at passing because they took night and day discipline, time out of their day to practice that and for you guys it won't happen overnight if you want to get to these high levels of soccer it's going to take work discipline time out of your day time out of your night not going to your friend's house it's gonna you're gonna have to dedicate time to practicing soccer because you it takes a lot of practice and Messi was saying one of the greatest players of all time he was saying it took me 17 years 156 days and 14 hours to become an overnight star and that overnight star things that's just it's not that's just he's just being that's just a joke it, it as you can see from the 17 years it took him a long, long time. And I do not want to spoil too much, so let's get right into so it. First drill I have for you guys to aim your passes in soccer betting. Is so what you wanna do is I have um, I have two cones in my goal, but your two cones can be anywhere. And if you don't have cones, you can use any objects in the house that can't really break, like clothing or something. Like sometimes I use socks. But so I have two cones, and what I'm, what you want to do is you want to try to pass through the cones. You want to repeat that as many times as you can. So I want to pass through the cones, and then what you want to do after you do that, if you want to start, you want to start big, and then progressively get uh, bring the cones in little by little until it's well, you're good enough to get it like threading the needle it's so that it'll help you because if in game in situations you could quickly just pass it and it would be on target because you know how to position your foot to get to that place and yeah so let's get to the second drill and let's go drill that I'm going to be teaching you guys to get a better and a more accurate pass in soccer is it's like the first one for sure but the only difference is you're going to have to control the ball so when you control the ball it's in this this drill would be better if you had two people but right now I do not have two people so I'm going to improvise and do this on my own but what you want to do is so if you have another person, they would toss it to you, you control it. But since I don't have someone, I'll do this and I'll control the ball. Once you get there, you want to do it like the first one and pass it in. And again, once, once you keep doing that and you get used to it, you want to progressively make the comb smaller and smaller. So go like this, control it, and quickly go. So that's my second drill for you guys, and let's get to the third one. teaching you guys to get more to get more accuracy with passing a ball is so I like to call this one threading the needle and basically what it is is so it's like kind of like the other drill but you want so you might you kind of need a goal for this or you can make a goal but what you want to do is you want to pass in those corners so if I was to do that, just go like that. And then progressively, again, you would make them smaller and then you would put more force on them. But I'm not gonna do that because I'm in a house, but you guys should try this outside. And so th this will help you because when you're in game, you need, if, you, if someone's on your right side down the line and you're dribbling into the middle, you want to quickly go like that because then they're down the line and they can get a cross opportunity and a scoring opportunity just like that. And this will also 
help your accuracy too because again it's threading the needle if you have someone in front of you but there's two defenders you could thread the needle through their legs or thread the needle right through them because then that'll get them the ball and then they again score an opportunity so that's all i have for you guys in the end If you guys loved that video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell so you get notified with my latest posts. And again, these drills, they'll make you a better passer over time because uh, it doesn't happen overnight. These th In soccer, in a sp any sport, you need to practice. You need to take time out of your day just to practice soccer because then you're not going to get to these like high levels. You, you need to practice a lot so you can become a pro. So I hope you guys love this video again, and I will see you guys in, the, in a, later. Bye.